The National Basketball Association is one of the most powerful and competitive sporting leagues on the planet. With that being said, being a pro baller for the NBA comes with an insane amount of pressure. Every once in a while, a player tries to get the edge on their competitors. That's why we're breaking down 10 NBA players caught cheating on live TV. Number 10. Andrew Bogut and Brandon Jennings In a tight game with only a few minutes left on the clock, one of the most amazing plays in NBA history happened. It only happened because of all the wrong reasons. Houston tried to pull a fast one on the refs, and the whole thing got caught. While Bogut was the one to get fouled, a player with only about 60% accuracy on his free throws, Brandon Jennings slipped in to make the shot. By the way, Jennings makes about 80% of his free throws. Jennings got so far as to make one of the shots out of two. That's when refs caught on. They took back Houston's point and put Bogut on the line. Bogut misses both shots, and commentators along with audience members all have a good laugh at their expense. Number 9. Draymond Green there's no doubt Draymond Green has created a pretty bad reputation for himself amongst NBA players. The Golden State Warriors player is known to get dirty on the court. For instance, when he gets blocked, he's sometimes known to have a swift kick to his opposer's crotch. The move is undoubtedly nasty, and is so subtle it can sometimes go unnoticed by refs. Of course, even that move isn't what landed Draymond on our naughty list. He earned his spot for his huddle invasion tactics. He's often snuck into huddles and stolen valuable information from opposing team in an attempt to get the leg up on any upcoming plays. He's definitely not the only huddle invader making moves in the NBA, but he takes the cake amongst the most notorious offenders. Number 8. DeAndre Ayton The 2019 Phoenix Suns entered the season with big playoff ambitions. Their massive opening night blowout against the Kings seemed like the first big leap in the right direction. It was only less than 24 hours later that the entire team faced a big leap in the wrong direction. The NBA announced DeAndre Ayton will be suspended for 25 straight games. The shocking blow unraveled into a PR nightmare, as it was revealed that Ayton had tested positive for a diuretic. This chemical is often used as a masking agent to hide other banned substances that may test positive. Among these substances include steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs. A diuretic found in the system doesn't always indicate it was used for masking, though. Aiton tried to make his case, but the NBA would have none of it. The Suns had to play a third of their season without the star player. Number 7. John Collins The Suns were not the only team to lose their star rookie over drug use last season. In fact, the Atlanta Hawks' John Collins was also busted and suspended for 25 total games. He felt the burn after officials traced a banned growth hormone in his system just before the Hawks walked off the court with a major win. Sadly, the Hawks wouldn't have made the playoffs that year anyway, finishing second to last in the entire league. Number 6. Bruce Bowen Bowen goes down as one of our dirtiest with a nasty tactic that's not only caused injuries that pulled major players out of their seasons, but sometimes ended their careers. Just as a player goes to shoot, Bowen will often align himself with them so that when they land, he can simply slide his foot under theirs. As they land on his uneven foot, it can cause major sprains or even ankle breaking. In 2017, a rule was finally created to ban sliding this, but there's no doubt that the notorious Bowen will go down as one of the worst offenders. Number 5. Jared Dudley And that's not allowed. Yeah. He's the jumper. Right. Dudley knew he didn't stand much chance when facing off against a player over 7 feet tall. Instead of facing the fact that he wasn't going to win the jump ball, he thought he'd take matters into his own hands. In a stunning move, Dudley went for the steal as his opposer was tipping the ball to a teammate. A player who was jumping cannot legally make a move like this. The ref stood back and did nothing that game. The Lakers tried to call the move to their attention, but they still did nothing and the Suns ultimately walked away with free points. Number 4. Hito Turkoglu Turkoglu may be one of the more tragic cheaters on this list. He had built a solid NBA career playing for Orlando Magic. Sadly, he ended up injuring his shoulder which greatly affected his playing. After apparent healing, he went on to the 2013 season ready to go, but just as the season was underway, he was slapped with a 20-game suspension for failing a drug test. The Turkish-born player tried to convince NBA officials that the drug was simply to speed up his recovery process and to manage his shoulder pain. Regardless, the NBA has no tolerance for drug use. Number 3. Dwight Howard Many Howard fans may be sad and surprised to learn about the legendary player's cheating, but there's no doubt, it was a major incident in his career. Of course, his spot on this list has to go down as one of the funniest and most unexpected incidents of cheating in NBA history. Stick'em is a subtle and sticky substance that athletes can use to easily hold or catch on to the ball. 
More times than not, Major League Baseball officials catch pro pitchers using the substance, but it also has its place in basketball. During his time with the Rockets, Howard was using the substance quite a bit and went undetected for a long time. One game would change all of that as Howard passed the ball off to the opposing team. One of the players noticed the substance on the ball. It was proven that Howard was the last player to handle the ball. It should be noted that Stickham isn't exactly outright banned by NBA rules, but it's also not really allowed either. The obvious hilarity of this situation being that Stickham isn't exactly going to help a basketball player. When the news and other players caught wind of the situation, Howard knew he would never live it down. Number 2. Joaquin Noah In his prime, Joaquin World reportedly tested positive for an over-the-counter supplement that has been outlawed under the league's collective bargaining agreement. How Number 1. Joe Smith Whiffs of under-the-table deals go around in college basketball all the time. Of course, nobody would ever try such a move in the NBA, right? That's where you're probably wrong. Joe Smith's NBA career went off without a hitch. He was a promising player and a fantastic addition to his team. Smith ultimately declined an $80 million deal extension from the Warriors and decided to become a free agent. There was plenty of demand for his services, so he was certain to be totally fine. But then almost everyone in the league was caught off guard to see that he signed with the Timberwolves for $2 million. This was well below his market value and was so suspicious that officials began investigating. Even other players were scratching their heads at that business decision. Of course, it wasn't long before the inevitable was discovered. Smith and the Timberwolves had an under-the-table agreement in place, where Smith would sign three one-year deals for very little money, allowing the Timberwolves to acquire his bird rights, which would allow them to go over the salary cap to re-sign him. He would have been rewarded with a lucrative contract that would have paid him up to $86 million. This arrangement, of course, was highly illegal, and sanctions came down hard on the Timberwolves when the league found out. According to J.A. Adandi, then of the Los Angeles Times, the entire plan was blown open when agents Eric Flesher and Andrew Miller parted ways. Miller retained Smith and superstar teammate Kevin Garnett in the split, which prompted a lawsuit that led to the unearthing of many documents, including those detailing the Timberwolves' illegal agreement with Smith. The Timberwolves were fined $3.5 million dollars and forfeited their first-round draft picks for the next five years. The team's 2003 pick was eventually restored. Not only was Smith's newly signed contract voided, his previous two were as well, meaning he would no longer retain his bird rights with the Timberwolves. Be sure to let us know in the comments who you think the worst cheater on this list was. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. This has been 10 NBA players caught cheating on live TV.